Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to sketch the graph of a function f that is continuous except for the stated discontinuity. So we have a removable discontinuity at 3 and a jump discontinuity at 5. So what this means is that at 3, the limit as x approaches 3 from f of x does not equal f of 3, right? It's discontinuous. However, that does not mean that the limit as x approaches 3 does not exist, right? The limit exists. However, at 5, we have a jump discontinuity, which means that the limit as x approaches 3 of f of x, or sorry, as x approaches 5 of f of x, it's not equal to f of 5, just like we had with 3. However, on top of that, the limit as x approaches 5 does not exist. Right? So we have to, in order to see why they're called removable and jump discontinuities, let's graph this. So we have x is equal to 3 and 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. At 3, the limit exists. So as we're approaching some value, we're approaching the same value from the left and the right, therefore the limit exists. However, we have an open circle here because it's not equal to the value of the function. Right, let's say the function is actually equal to this value down here at x equals 3. Right, And then it just goes off to infinity that direction. We don't really care. And then at 5, not only does the value of the function um, not equal the limit, right? It jumps in value. It's a different value from the left and the right, and therefore it's called a jump discontinuity, right? That's what it means for the limit to not exist. The value is jumping down. And this does not mean that the limit from the right or the left doesn't exist. We can actually just say that, okay, from the right, it is approaching the value of the function, but it's not from the left, therefore it's discontinuous. And since the value jumps, it's a jump discontinuity. But anyways, this is the graph of the function f that is continuous, except for these discontinuities.